Once upon a time, in a lush green forest nestled at the foot of a majestic mountain range, there lived a young boy named Mango. From the moment he could walk and explore the wonders of the world, he found solace and joy in the company of his animal friends. Among his closest companions were Nutty, the energetic and mischievous squirrel, and slowly, the patient turtle. Together, they formed an inseparable trio. Their bond built on trust, understanding, and a shared love for the beauty of nature. Mango, Nutty, and Slowly had grown up together, exploring every nook and cranny of their forest home. They marveled at the vibrant colors of flowers, listened to the soothing melodies of birds, and danced with joy as sunlight filtered through the lush canopy. But most importantly, they celebrated the harmony and unity that existed between the creatures that called the forest their home. On this particular day, a special occasion was approaching, the birthday of their beloved friend, Pandamum. Pandamum was a gentle and wise panda who had always been a guiding presence in Mango's life. Her soft black and white fur, warm smile, and loving heart had touched the lives of everyone in the forest. Mango, Nutty, and slowly cherished her deeply and wished to make her birthday a day she would remember forever. The trio gathered in Mango's cozy treehouse, perched high in the branches of a massive oak tree. Excitement filled the air as they brainstormed ideas for the perfect birthday surprise. Mango suggested they make a delicious fruit cake, knowing how much Panda Mom loved the sweet taste of nature's bounties. Nutty's eyes sparkled with mischief as he added, We can gather the ingredients from all over the forest. With hearts brimming with enthusiasm, they set off on their adventure. Mango led the way, his bare feet sinking into the soft earth as he navigated the winding forest paths. Nutty, nimble as ever, darted between branches and leaped from tree to tree, scouting for the best fruits. Slowly, steady and determined, made his way at his own pace, his shell protecting him from any unexpected dangers. Their first stop was the wild strawberry patch, hidden beneath a tapestry of ferns. The trio bent down, their fingers grazing the velvety leaves as they plucked the luscious red berries. Each fruit was carefully examined for ripeness before being placed gently in their baskets. Next, they ventured into the heart of the forest, where kiwi vines climbed the ancient trunks of towering trees. Mango's laughter echoed as he hopped from one vine to another, reaching out for the fuzzy green kiwi fruits. Nutty, always eager to lend a helping paw, leaped from branch to branch expertly collecting the fruits and adding them to the growing pile. Their final destination was a hidden clearing where blueberry bushes thrived. Slowly observed the vibrant berries, each one bursting with flavor. With his deliberate movements, he plucked the blueberries and gently placed them in his own tiny basket. With their baskets overflowing with strawberries, kiwis, and blueberries, mango, nutty, and slowly made their way back to the treehouse, their hearts filled with a sense of accomplishment. The forest had provided them with the freshest and most delectable ingredients for Panda Mum's fruit cake. Once inside the cozy haven of the treehouse, they set about preparing the cake. Mango meticulously washed and chopped the strawberries, their sweet fragrance perfuming the air. Nutty, his paws a blur of motion, peeled and sliced the kiwis with his characteristic speed and precision. Slowly, with his ancient wisdom, observed the process and advised on the perfect measurements and proportions. Together, they mixed the fruits with honey, a splash of milk, and a sprinkling of wheat flour, creating a batter that promised to be a symphony of flavors. As they carefully poured the batter into the cake tin, Mango couldn't help but wonder how they could make the occasion even more magical. Suddenly, an idea sparked in his mind. What if we use fireflies to light up Panda Mum's house in the evening? It would be like a twinkling fairyland. Excitement surged through Nutty and slowly as they embraced the idea. That evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, they ventured into the heart of the forest once again, searching for fireflies. They carefully caught the glowing insects, gently cupping them in their hands and transferring them to glass jars with tiny holes poked in the lids. The fireflies fluttered their wings, illuminating the jars with a soft, radiant light. Back at Panda Mum's house, they strategically placed the jars, allowing the fireflies to cast their enchanting glow throughout the room. The cake now baked to perfection, 
sat proudly on a wooden table adorned with vibrant flower petals. The aroma of the cake mingled with the sweet scent of the forest, creating an ambience that spoke of love and celebration. As night fell and darkness blanketed the forest, Mango, Nutty, and slowly anxiously awaited the arrival of Pandemum. With every passing moment, their hearts beat faster with anticipation. Finally, they heard the gentle footsteps of their dear friend approaching. Pandemum's eyes widened in astonishment as she stepped into the softly illuminated room. The warm glow of the fireflies danced around her, casting a magical aura. She guessed in delight at the sight of the table adorned with the fruit cake, the colors of nature's bounty a feast for the eyes. Mango, nutty slowly. This is, this is the most beautiful surprise I have ever received. Pandemum exclaimed, tears of joy glistening in her eyes. With a flourish, Mango stepped forward, a mischievous grin playing on his lips. Happy birthday, Pandemum. This cake was made with love from the fruits of our forest, just for you. Pandemum embraced the young boy tightly, feeling overwhelmed by the love and thoughtfulness behind this gesture. She tasted a piece of the cake, savoring the explosion of flavors that burst upon her tongue. Each bite was a symphony of sweetness, a testament to the love and effort Mango, Nutty, and Slowly had poured into their creation. Word of the celebration spread quickly throughout the forest, reaching the ears of the animals who held a special place in their hearts for Pandemum. One by one, they arrived, to express their deep love and respect they felt for their friend. Birds perched on branches, their melodious songs filling the air. Frogs croaked in joy, their voices harmonizing with the rhythmic rustling of leaves. A family of rabbits hopped playfully, their soft fur glistening in the gentle glow of the fireflies. Mango, nutty, and slowly beamed with pride as they watched the animals gather around, joining in the celebration of Pandemum's birthday. Laughter filled the air as Nutty swung from branch to branch, performing daring acrobatic stunts that brought smiles to everyone's faces. Slowly regaled the crowd with tales of wisdom and lessons learned from a life spent observing the wonders of nature. The forest transformed into a haven of joy and merriment. Animals danced, sang, and played games, creating memories that would forever be etched in their hearts. It was a night of unity and celebration, love and friendship that transcended all boundaries. Panda Mom, touched by the overwhelming display of affection, stepped forward and addressed the forest family that had gathered to honor her. Her voice, filled with gratitude and warmth, resonated through the trees. Dear friends, I am humbled by your love and the beautiful celebration you have bestowed upon me. This birthday will forever remain in my heart as one of the greatest days of my life. The bond we share is precious and unbreakable. Together, we are a family, united by the magic of this forest and the love we have for one another. The animals cheered, their voices echoing through the night. As the celebration continued, Mango, Nutty, and slowly exchanged glances, knowing that they had achieved their goal of bringing happiness to Panda Mum's heart. When dawn broke and the first rays of sunlight bathed the forest in a golden glow, the animals bid each other farewell. Hearts filled with joy and gratitude, they carried the memory of this extraordinary celebration, knowing that their bond would continue to flourish and grow stronger with each passing day. As Mango, Nutty, and Slowly made their way back, they couldn't help but feel a profound sense of contentment. The forest had not only provided them with a home but also with the most precious gifts of friendship, love, and the ability to bring joy to others. From that day forward, the friendship between Mango, Nutty, and Slowly became an inspiration to all who called the forest their home. They were a constant reminder that the threads of friendship and kindness were the most precious gifts one could ever receive. And so, as the seasons danced through the forest and the years rolled by, Mango, Nutty, and Slowly continued their adventures, treasuring each moment, and sharing their love and kindness with all who crossed their path. For in their hearts, they knew that the true magic of life lay in the simple joys of friendship, the beauty of nature, and the love that bound them together. Thank you for listening. Please support by like this video and subscribe to this channel, and stay tuned for the new stories.